Hey McCall. So for the past few days, I have been trying really, really hard to write a letter of recommendation for Brad Wilson for Technology Using Educator of the Year. And I am just not able to get it on paper. So I hope this video letter of recommendation works for you. Let me tell you a little bit about Brad and why he is, he is perfect for, for this nomination. Um, the very first time I met Brad, he was doing a session at the McCall Mobile Learning Conference. And his session was called Padding with a Purpose. And I, I went there and I sat and I, I listened to Brad for about an hour and I couldn't type fast enough because what he was describing, he wasn't talking about the iPad per se. He was talking about how it was used in his classroom. He was talking about what his kids were doing with the iPad that they couldn't do before. He was talking about how his classroom had changed because of the technology. And that's something that really stuck with me and that really impressed me was that for Brad, it wasn't about the technology. It was about the teaching, it was about the learning first. And, and really the technology was secondary to that. And I think that's one of the great things about Brad is that he understands the role that technology plays in the classroom. So let me give you a few examples about why for Brad, it's about the teaching and learning first and the technology second, and why this is so important for him to be technology using educator of the year. Um, you see, when Brad came over to the Jackson County ISD to, to work with us as one of our ed tech consultants, he made possible a lot of things that we weren't able to do before without him. For example, when he came over, it was right in the rush when we had several districts that were getting buying thousands and thousands of dollars of iPads and iPad carts and all of these other bells and whistles and things. And, and Brad was able to take a step back and kind of reframe the question. It wasn't for him about, well, what can I do with this iPad? It's what do you want to do in the classroom first? Let, let me give you an example. Uh, we had a district that wanted this iPad training. And instead of spending hours and hours and days and days teaching them what buttons to push or what's the perfect app for fourth grade math or, or other things like that, Brad turned it around and he talked about the teaching and learning first. And he developed a series of, of sessions or trainings called Playing with Media, where they talked about how to get students to create on the iPads and how they could demonstrate understanding using the iPads and focused it all on the content and the curriculum that was being taught. And then as they were talking about everything that they wanted to do in the classroom, then he brought in the iPad of how you could use that to, to create things or to get kids making things to demonstrate their understanding. And the dynamic that happened in that classroom was, was electrifying. So not only is Brad changing the way we look at technology integration here in Jackson County, but he's also influencing the conversations that are happening statewide. One of the things that he's played a pivotal role in is the MishEd movement. Hopefully you've seen the MishEd.net website, um, you've seen the MishEd hashtag, but really the whole MishEd idea is about having Michigan educators tell their story, talk about the amazing things that are happening every day but that many people don't know about. Brad has spent hundreds and hundreds of hours interviewing, researching, and creating podcasts for the MishEd uh, channel. In fact, just yesterday, I was listening to the, the most recent podcast. It was on the maker movement. And he went to all of these different uh, schools throughout the, the state and was talking to teachers and students and administrators and really focusing on how this idea of making can change how we look at education and how we look at the, the teaching and learning process. I can't even begin to go down the entire list of all the things that Brad has done to make a positive impact in Jackson County, on the state as a whole. Uh, but let me just finish with a little personal story. Um, when Brad came to the Jackson County ISD and I got to start working with him, he pushed me and he taught me things that I never would have learned without him. And I appreciate that a lot. And I think when, when we talk about the idea of, for Brad it being about the learning first and the technology second, a great story um, that, that happened in my house was, um, in case you haven't heard or not, Brad has developed several uh, iOS apps, and they're all meant for the classroom. And one of those is, is called Write About This. 
And when Brad first, uh, when, when it was finally ready to go out, I, I downloaded it, I took it home, and my daughter Isabel, she was, she was eight years old at the time, I remember handing this to her and said, Isabel, I just want you to try this out. And really what the app does is it gives kids writing prompts. It gives them ideas to, to write about things and to really get their ideas uh, out, onto, out onto the screen. And I watched my daughter, who has a very short attention span, spend 45 minutes on the couch on a Sunday writing a story because of one of the prompts that she saw in this. And just to watch the focus and the engagement and, and all of those things that as a father I want to see happen in the classroom. And then at the very end, to have her be so excited about this app that she, or about the story that she had written. And she wanted to read it to me and she wanted to know how she could make it better. And I just, I couldn't help but smile. Because remember, the, the thing with Brad is it's not about the technology. It's about the learning and how the technology can be used as a tool to make that learning experience even more engaging for the students. And that is why Brad would be a wonderful nomination for the Technology Using Educator of the Year.